What up, fam? How you going? So, we're on our way out to Holland now. Today we've got to get all of the rest of the lambs in. Um, we're going to weigh them off into different weight ranges. And then Chris is going to come out and we're going to put them on Auctions Plus, which is an online auction platform for selling various farm things but mainly sheep so anyway let's get it There you go. There you go. through, got them all in, drafted some out. There was actually some big enough to send to the market to kill. So we put them in the, drafted them out, weighed them, put them in the shed. And now we've got all of these ones that are gonna go on Auctions Plus. We've weighed a percentage of them and fat scored a percentage. And now Brock is up there doing his photography work taking some photos to go on auctions plus because it's it's an online sale and you've got to uh you've got to have photos to know what kind of sheep you're buying along with the description and an average weight and a condition score or a fat score How's this for a day out north? Lovely. All right, so we just took the lambs back to their paddock after we had a barbecue for lunch. And before lunch, we discussed about redoing the shed out here, the shearing shed, because it's not really in a usable state at the moment. So we decided on a plan how to renovate it to make it into a good shearing shed. While we were taking the uh, the lambs back, they got into it. So, yeah, all the catching pen doors are gone. Most of the internal is gone. The tin's coming off. And the plan is to clear all of this out, get rid of all the poo that's under the grating and uh, yeah, rebuild it all.
All right, we're back here out north and we've made some progress. There is now no board. All the, the ends still right. We've cleared everything out. Oh, not me. I haven't been doing so much. We got all the sheep poo out and uh, wheelbarrowed it over to the trailer and then carted it out to a pile. All right, so we've come to our pile location. We pick up our string to our anchor and I'll get my ID shackle out and we'll hook it up. Yep, so we got it hooked up here, tied to the post on this string here. There's a piece of wood up there and it should just all slide out. Just like that. Yep. <laughs> Bit easier than shoveling it all out. All right, so we went and emptied out the sheep poo off the trailer and the others have marked out where the stumps are gonna go. And now they're digging some holes. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna fill these holes up with water um, just so that the dirt underneath is a bit more moist <laughs> because it's been under a shed for the last uh, 60 years or so and uh, it's very soft and it's not very fun to dig in. All right, we got some holes dug, made some, made some, did some damage. And, uh, we're gonna go home and have another crack at it tomorrow. Right, so me and Dad have been to town this morning, picked up some timber and some cementing stones, but we just had a look, or I've just had a look, and our sheep that we sorted out on Friday are actually up on Auctions Plus. Here they are, lot 297, 340 mixed sex suckers at Tilopia Downs. You can see here they look pretty good, so they'll be coming up at 1. It's 9.30 at the moment. We'll be out of signal, so we'll um, probably come back to find out how they went. Um, yeah, hopefully they sell well. But we'll just wait and see, I guess. Someone reckons they can buy them, fatten them up and sell them for more. So good on them. I wish them all the best. Um, at the moment, we're getting them in to send them on the truck. Um, if the person that bought them is watching this, this is the pasture they've been in. You can see it's about bull bar height rye. Um, this is a paddock that we sowed. Yeah, we sowed with rye. And even up on the top of the um, hill here, it's uh, got a decent height. So this is what we would call cover cropping. Um, sometimes we would sow barley for sheep feed, but we stopped doing that because we would just end up with no cover on our dirt after the sheep had eaten it, because sheep love eating barley. So we're sowing rye 
and it's quite tall you can see it's as tall as a bull bar and yeah it's just put a heap of organic matter back into the soil and works really well for our system that we're trying to do at the moment um yeah this morning the bigger lambs that we sorted out on friday they left on the truck they're heading to the abattoir i'm not sure where they're going um, yeah i don't know where they're going but anyway they'll um meet their maker and head to a supermarket shelf very soon Right, we're back out here at Onan. It is raining currently, just a little bit. Uh, we're working in the shed. I'm about to set, set up a time lapse and you can see it all happening. So we're back out here at Onan. I wasn't around when they finished off the work on the shearing shed or the allocated time that we had. Um, so here is the big reveal. What do you reckon, Dad? Brilliant, brilliant. Be better when it's finished. Will be better when it's finished. So it's not done yet. There's gonna be a wall along here where the board finishes and the grading starts and there's gonna be fences and gates and stuff out there. So what we've done, there used to be four stands along this wall where these four windows are. Now we've changed it to three stands across this way. Um, and then we'll just pick up the wall from this side straight onto the wall table out there where the press is, the wall table will be there. So we never actually sure with four when they were running this way, just because it was too tight. There was too many stands in not enough area. And yeah, we only ever used three. So we just converted it to three. And uh, yeah, it'll be magnificent when we get it finished off. And because we made the grading higher, we had to redo the ramp, which is marvelous. So the sheep will come from those dirt pens out there, up the ramp, along the back here. They'll go into this gate. We'll build a dividing wall or 
fence along there. There'll be a secondary pen and the catching pen for stand one. Once the sheep are shorn on the board, they'll come down the let go race into here. There'll be a gate along here. Then once they're, once we're counting them out, they'll go out this end and we'll put a door in there and they'll go outside and then across to get back lined. So yeah, that's a brief overview of how this shed will work. And we've even put in a walkway down this end so that we can walk from the board to this back race very easily.